welcome to Retro Planner Co. I'm Cheryl. Today I have October monthly stickers to walk through and please be sure to stay to the end of the video where I'll be doing some brainstorming and um, asking for your feedback regarding future sticker sets and the formatting of the sticker sets. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you the October freebie stickers. Every month I release a set of freebies pertaining to that month with holidays and special days and monthly observances. So for October, we have several different ribbons for this month. We have Breast Cancer Awareness, ADHD Awareness, Stop Bullying Month. Um, there's a little cheat sheet sticker here that you could use to log everything in your planner. Mental Health Day, Cerebral Palsy Day, Red Ribbon Week, Coffee Day, Mammogram, Rosh Hashanah, which I think is how you say that, Teacher's Day, Coach's Day, Yom Kippur, Columbus Day, Stroke Awareness Day, Indigenous Peoples Day, and Halloween. I in no way include all of the monthly observances because there are a lot. If you do a Google search, you will see what I mean. Um, but you will notice that in October's monthly set, as well as other monthly sets, if you go through the monthly sets, You'll find elements that you can use if you want to do like a whole monthly calendar dedicated to special days and observances. Search through the sets. Um, like, for example, I think there's a cinnamon roll day in uh, October. There is a cinnamon roll, I believe, in maybe August's set. I could be wrong on that one. Um, there's cookie day and there are chocolate chip cookies in October sets. So if you want to get creative and do that, I do kind of pay attention to the monthly wacky holidays and stuff and try to include some of those elements in my monthly sets. So sometimes if you're scrolling through the monthly set and you're like, what the heck is this doing in there? How does that factor into that month? That's why. <laughs> so little Easter egg for you. So those are the freebie stickers. The link to join the freebie vault is in the description below. If you're not already um, a member of the freebie vault, it is totally free. You just have to sign up with your email address and then you will get access to all of the freebie sets that I have released so far. Next, we have October monthly stickers. This set has 396 stickers and you'll get transparent background PNG files. Samsung Notes sticker books, and of course, Good Notes sticker books. The font I used in this set is I'm not original this month. It's called October <laughs> from KA Fonts. And I also used um, the sub font was Magical Writer from Blush Font Co. So you'll get a combination of deco stickers, calendar stickers, scrapbook stickers, shape stickers, widget backgrounds. Oh my, they're all in here. Color palette of red, orange, brown, rich and deep color palette so super fun lots of deco stickers let's get started with the walkthrough so these stickers here this entryway bench or you could use it as an outdoor bench in a scene it's versatile either way this pillow is a separate sticker it says hello pumpkin i did also include a lot of plaid and buffalo check in this set so there are some black elements as well we have a gnome with a pumpkin pumpkin spice candle there is like a caramel apple day or a caramel apple day whichever camp you're in so there's a caramel apple um, we have some kids trick-or-treating this is the first of them i will be releasing next week spoiler alert a Halloween sticker set. So of course we'll have lots more Halloween goodies in that set. This is more of a pumpkin vibe set. Um, and it does pair nicely with a lot of my other fall sets. I have a cozy autumn set and a cozy home set and then apples in September's set. So there's a street lamp, Hello October, two separate stickers, a pumpkin spice latte. That's why this is my favorite month of the year. I love me some pumpkin spice lattes. In fact, they usually arrive, I think, maybe ends of September, early October, but I've already started making mine at home. So even though it's 90 degrees still, <laughs> I don't care. We have some beer for Oktoberfest, a beautiful fall wreath, a buffalo plaid pumpkin, this lovely scene sticker, it's all one set, um, cozy little reading nook by the fireplace and flat surfaces so you can 
accessorize this however your heart desires. Last month in September set, I included a truck with apples. This is your pumpkin truck. A football, because football season is in full swing as per my kids and their fantasy football teams. Um, the first of our girls, I have a few different uh, sets of girls along with the kids trick-or-treating. An older lady with Hello Autumn on her cup. We have a sheet of uh, fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. A, another coffee drink here. Doesn't have to be pumpkin spice if, if that's not your jam, that's okay. A bowl of chips and salsa to celebrate those football watching parties or get togethers. Several different pumpkins, so the yellow, orange, white, and red. Bag of candy corns. It's also, um, there's like a, I don't know if it's National Croc Month, but I think there's a Croc Day in October. So here's your October Crocs with some gibbets on them. We have a beautiful garland swag for fall, a basket of gourds, an autumn banner. This little bear is just super cute, dressed in his little autumn clothes. A couple different mum plants, leaves in a heart shape, autumn leaves in a heart shape. Two different trees, one red and one orange and yellow. A buffalo check pillow. A standard poodle, while he doesn't necessarily go with this set, I did have somebody in the group, and I'm sorry I don't remember who you were, request a standard poodle sticker. So here you are. Kind of goes with the black and white buffalo check theme. We have a black cat on a pillow and a jack-o'-lantern with a hat to commemorate Halloween. A basket full of mushrooms. A beautiful fall scene window. A pumpkin patch field. Scarecrow, and then here are the rest of the kids, a little girl and two little boys. And then we have two fashion girls, plus size of course, because it's been highly requested. And of course they've got their coffee. And then the other two girls matching the girl on the front. And then these I just kind of threw in for bonus because it's fun. Their cups say cozy socks, hocus pocus, and pumpkin spice. Next, we have some scenes for this month. So a beautiful path going through a uh, fall themed trail. The vertical scenes of a, an autumn bonfire. This is my absolute favorite sticker. And you can put, um, I did a woodland animals set, I believe last week. You could kind of arrange them around the fire and they can have a little bonfire, just an idea. There's a nighttime forest scene with some fireflies. I thought that'd be fun for Halloween. Make it a little spooky. And a beautiful cabin in the woods in autumn. Then we have the coordinating landscape version scene. So the fall cabin with the semi-transparent. Looks great on backgrounds. You can layer all your weekly planning elements over top. In the autumn bonfire in landscape and the nighttime forest. And then all of the deco stickers come in semi-transparent versions if you want to layer them and just have a, a little subtle background but don't necessarily need that whole pop of color on your page. Next we have the calendar stickers and for this month to kind of to go with the buffalo plaid I went ahead and did black background and white text which is why they're on the gray page. These look really good on dark and light backgrounds. So I really wanted to include those because I do have in the other fall theme sets and the pretty pages sets, I have um, like orange and red colors of these stickers. So I really wanted to do black and white. We have some of the main holidays, Indigenous People Day, Halloween, Columbus Day, Fall Vibes, Football, S'mores, Bonfires. These are all separate stickers. There's a fall sticker so you could mix and match this with the hello that's on the front of the sticker book. We have flannels, hay rides, pumpkins, sweaters, bonfires, pumpkin season with the buffalo check, and pumpkin spice. Everything. Pumpkin spice everything. And then I went ahead and did the black for the swashes as well with the white text. I think these will be very versatile no matter what month you decide to use them. And then I did the brown for um, this font style. And these go really well with the woodland animals as well. 
And then for the deco dates, I did something a little different. I did the uh, buffalo plaid pillow and trying to get the numbers to pop a little bit on it so they didn't get lost in it. There's a little bit of a shadow with the numbers to try to help them pop off the pillow a little bit. But these, again, will be versatile enough to use in any farmhouse style layout or spread you decide to do any month of the year. And then here are the colors for the date dots for this month set. Next are the scrapbook elements, so a bunch of different tacks and clips and clipboards, bullnose clips, some planner rings, folders, sticky notes, tabs, labels galore, bunch more labels, and then these are some more decorative labels, note paper, and then some cards and envelopes which you can mix and match and overlay over top of each other in your spreads and use in combination with the tabs. They're super versatile. And then here are the patterned envelopes and cards. Next are the semi-transparent washies, some patterned washies and thin washi strips. And then we have the horizontal and vertical frames, they are transparent in the center. So they highlight your photos and they overlay over top of your photos really well. And then the decorative widget backgrounds, these have a semi-transparent clip art in them. If you want it to pop a little bit more, you can take the matching sticker and overlay it over top. And these are primarily for, although I've seen them used multiple different ways, primarily for the widget overlays um, that come in black and white that fit perfectly over top of these for lists and notes and trackers. Bunch of those in the shop. Check those out if you're interested. And then the plain widget and tracker backgrounds. And they have rounded borders. You can also use these just to cover an entire um, background of a page if you wish. And then finally, the shapes. So we have the star, the heart, the bookmark, circles, squares, arches, and hexagons. So here is what I wanted to discuss. I've had a bunch of polls going on and I do plan on having some more in the Facebook group. So, so the polls have been concerning primarily the stickers this time of year and it seems to always happen around planner season when planner season begins for me where I just kind of take stock of my business and how it's going and product ideas and my list is gigantic. <laughs> my list of things that I want to create and customer requests and all of that is huge. So I've just been brainstorming and thinking of things and I always like to reevaluate what's working, what's not working, what stickers you're actually using versus like in this set of almost 400 stickers. I don't expect everybody of course to use every single sticker that would be insanity and um, I know of course deco stickers are our fan favorite. Deco stickers aren't going anywhere. What may be going somewhere is the amount of deco stickers that are in my packs. I have a heart to since the beginning of launching my shop to keep digital planning affordable so everybody can participate and I think I've done a pretty good job at that but I also think I tend to over deliver and it's really starting to wear on me to be quite honest. I am a one woman show outside of me and one other wonderful woman who does the Samsung Note sticker books. Thank you, Michelle. So I have to kind of weigh the time I'm putting in versus the, um, I guess, financial payout <laughs> that I'm getting, time versus pay. And uh, it's just, it's starting to get a little overwhelming. So I did a poll in the Facebook group and I asked if you guys wanted or preferred smaller sets split up, like splitting up the elements. So putting deco stickers in one, scrapbook stickers in another. And uh, I think overwhelmingly you guys still prefer it to be all in one, which I totally get. But my vision is to maybe just do because I'm, I'm also just getting a little burnt out, honestly. <laughs> just bearing it all here, a little burnt out. Um, so I'm just thinking I could be a little bit more creative, which I love the creativity, I love the backgrounds, I love you know the creativity of making the stickers. That's one of my favorite things. But say just including a smaller amount of deco and backgrounds 
and it's just a smaller amount of everything in a collection with a few maybe added surprises thrown in each month. So um, monthly, they're a little bit different. So obviously the themed mini sets will kind of stay the same. I'll usually include some text if it applies, maybe some quotes, and then the deco, sometimes background stickers if they make sense. But as far as these mega, mega sets, which as far as these mega sets go, 400 stickers in a set. There's only a few other shops doing this many monthly and the ones that are charging two to three times what I'm charging. So I do not, as I said, I do not want to um, increase my prices. That is not where my heart is leading me to go. However, at this point, I am looking at either creating more products or and selling them at a smaller price point or getting a part-time or a full-time job to supplement my income. As a single mom in a city, it is becoming increasingly difficult to support us on my planner business salary. So, which originally I started this business just as a side hustle. It wasn't really intended to be my primary source of support. So all that said, TMI, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, I didn't want to change things abruptly and have everybody just go, what has happened? But I'm just looking at including some more like maybe doodle aspects. I miss Procreate, honestly. I used to work a lot in Procreate. Um, so just less of everything, but still everything in here. And then some doodles maybe thrown in and some specials. Some more of a collection rather than a full on 400 sticker set. So please let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite elements of stickers, of the sticker sets? What would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? I'm just gonna try to take a general consensus before I make any like drastic future changes. But as I said, I do have a ton of ideas and just from seeing what everyone's posting in the Facebook group, which I know not everybody's comfortable posting your spreads and I totally get that. But just seeing what um, you all are actually using and wanting and asking for, I'm wanting to give it to you <laughs> just in smaller doses. <laughs> so let me know what you think. If you totally hate the idea, go ahead and comment that as well. You're not gonna hurt my feelings at all. I truly value your feedback as my loyal customers. So that is all I have for the October monthly stickers. I will have another video up for the launch of the new Ultimate Life Planner for 2025. It is finally done. This week I will be working on revamping the customizable planners. I've had a few requests and a few things that I've noticed that I would like to change about them. So um, we'll, I'll be changing a few things in the customizable planners. I most likely will have a bunch of new stickers for you next week because my mind has been in overdrive of all these smaller sets that I want to get out. You guys are loving the glitter frame stickers and the glitter stickers and overlays. So there'll be a bunch more of those sets and then a few little surprises thrown in as well. Also working on um, my friend who is an artist will be doing some weather doodles. So I do plan on releasing a new weather icon slash widget set. So be on the lookout for that. And that is what I have going on. So please enjoy these stickers. Please enjoy fall. I am so ready. Our leaves are changing colors, despite the fact that it is still 90 degrees outside. <laughs> I am ready for fall. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching to the end and thank you for your support.